What's up guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to animate your scoreboards. So, what I mean by that is, if you look at the side of my screen, on the side by where I have my scoreboard, it's not still, at least the uh, name of it. Now, it's easier to do, like, the players on it, like if you're doing fake players, because you can just switch them out. But, the name of the scoreboard is a bit trickier, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this video. Now, I have it all set up right here, and I'll go over this quickly, but I'll make a, again to show you how to do it. So, I'm cloning the block above this command block, which would be this command block, to right here. Now, what this is, is this is just scoreboard objectives, add scoreboard dummy, and then a bunch of underscores. Now, all that's changing is pretty much this command block. The second one, it put an S, this one added the C to it, and it just goes on and on, so that's all it's doing. It's essentially just adding the same scoreboard with changing its name. And then after it clones it, it sets a redstone block to right here, which activates this, which removes my scoreboard. This one is what's getting changed, and this adds it back, so if I look in it again, it's different, as you can see. This one above it, now this is where you would add your text, so I just have it say text here because I didn't know really what to put, but on the side you can see it says that and it's not flashing even though it gets deleted and added back. So I can do this, um, if I want to add a second text, I can just put another thing on top, and I'll just have this say tie, just to show it off. So, as you can see, both of the things are on the scoreboard now, and it's staying there, fine. Um, if you want to get more advanced with it, you can actually do the same thing I'm doing here, except you clone the um, commands having the text into this. So you could, if you, let's say, want to animate uh, one of the text, you would do the same thing, except just have it clone let's say to here and it would be a fake player like i have set up here and then it would be changing but that's only if you want to all right so now i'll be showing you how to actually make this so i'm just going to turn it off for now so the first thing i'm going to want to do is lay out where i want the actual like pillar of commands to be so i'm going to just place a repeating command block one block in the ground Set block, tilde tilde, one tilde, so the block above it, to air. Now, just have this on repeat, unconditional, and need redstone. Then, I'm gonna go over here, grab a command block. And then, I'm gonna place one, leave a block out, and then place one above it. So, this will just be impulse, unconditional, and need redstone. And this will just be scoreboard, objectives, remove, and then whatever the name of your scoreboard is. So I'm just going to have this be, I don't know, animation. So this will get rid of my scoreboard called animation. And then I need a thing to add it, which is what I'm going to be setting up now. So I'm going to, for this you're going to need a command block, a chain command block, a repeater, and some redstone so i won't make this too long but uh what i'll what i'd suggest doing is adding it like this first scoreboard objectives add animation and then dummy and then here type out exactly what you want it to say like the full word so i want might say animation so i'm gonna copy all that add that and then if you want, you can set it to the sidebar. So, I'm, I'll do that now. So, there we go. And now, I'm going to just put that in a command block. So, I'm going to start off what I was doing there. Set a command block. So, clone, tilde tilde 1 tilde, tilde tilde 1 tilde again. And then you need to get these coordinates, which I'm just going to place a block here, and then use tab, because it's easy. So, do that, and I'm just going to copy these. And then, paste this into here, there we go. And now I'm just going to copy this command block a bunch of times. Doesn't matter how many you all 
fix the number later if you have too many or too little. But just set it down a um, fair bit of times. So, now with this... <coughs> sorry for the cough. Uh, I'm going to place that there. And then I'm actually going to count the amount of letters. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So, this is 9. So, I'm going to put the same amount of underscores. Um, and now, I'm going to just control pick block that or copy it. Put it on top of this one. And then, change the letters now. So, I change it A. I copy this command block. Place it here. And now, add the next letter. So that would be N. Now do the same thing again. Put an I. And then I'm gonna again add the next letter. Put an M. So yeah, this is it's gonna be a longer process, and the longer it is, the more you're gonna have to do for this. But this isn't the only way you can animate it as well. Like you can Instead of have it doing what I'm doing, like, you don't have to have it do underscores and the letters appear. You could, like, change the colors if you feel, but it's really up to you. I'm just showing this way because it's easiest. So, I'm almost done now with this part. And then, there we go. Okay, so, that's the first part of it. I'm gonna, I want it to later come back around. And do like it going out instead of going up. You'll you'll see what I mean by that. But now let me set up the command block for the redstone block. So I'm gonna just place one here temporarily to get the coordinates. And then there we go. Stone block. Okay. Now if I enter that, as you can see, it get it places a redstone block. So I'm gonna paste this here and then copy this and then paste it in front of all these impulse command blocks. Um. Now. You can wait to do this or do it now. I'm gonna just do it now. Uh, you can place repeaters between. The delay doesn't matter. That's really up to you. But I would say don't do any less than three ticks on the repeater because that can uh, mess it up. Um, and if you're using tick delay instead of repeaters, that is completely fine. That works the same way. Just make sure not to go below six or seven ticks. Because you can mess it up if you're doing that. So, now that I have this all set up, I'm going to do a quick little test of it. Uh, yeah. Now, if I do this, nothing happens. Because it, it is doing it, but I don't have it setting display. So, I'm going to just do scoreboard, objectives, set display sidebar. And then, uh, turn my caps lock off. Animation. So, you can just copy that. Put this in here. So, after it deletes the scoreboard, it'll add it back, and then set it to the sidebar. So, if I run this again, there we go. As you can see, it's doing its thing. So, now, time to go back around. Which, for this, I'm going to copy these command blocks again. Um, can You can place too many or too little for now. We'll fix it later. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to place those there. And then I have my full, so I don't, I'm not going to worry about that. So I'll copy this one, which is one less. And here, I'll just copy them like this instead of retyping them. So that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, this one, that one. And then since I stopped here, I'm going to just mark that out quickly. Then place all of these down. So, there we go. I'm going to just throw these over here. So, okay, that's like that. Okay, I got this. So, I believe this is... Yeah, because, uh, okay, that's an empty one. And then, yeah, that comes after this. So, this is actually the last one I needed to copy. Now, I'm going to place my thing for the redstone blocks. So, like this. Let's place these again. And then, my repeaters, again, don't go over, uh, don't go below three ticks. Um, uh, after I do this, I'm gonna get some redstone dust, connect this up, 
and then I should be good to try this. So yeah, as you can see, it's working fine. Oh, did I do it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, actually, right here, I forgot to add a repeater, so make sure you do this before your redstone dust. Wait, I can't... Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, with three ticks of delay, and then mine turned off, but, yeah. You, if you do that, then it'll be fine. Um, and now for adding, like, a player to it. Instead of just doing it with a slash scoreboard players add... And then whatever, so just, I don't know, ABC to animation. Um, you can't just do that here uh, in chat because, as you can see, it just disappeared. You have to have that in a command block, like I showed earlier. So it'll be the one that removes it. This needs to be here. Then the one that you're changing will go above. So as you can see, it yeah, this one's changing. Then above that is where you can start adding your fake players. So, yeah, here's ABC. I don't know. Let's say I want to add another one. I can go into the command block above it, paste it here, and now instead of ABC, I don't know, ABC, D, E, F, sure, I'll do that. And then just change that to two. And yeah, as you can see, it has both players though. So, yeah, that's pretty much how to animate your scoreboard. You can do it other ways. This doesn't like have to be the only way to animate it you can change the colors of the scoreboard you can even have it change the words you can have it scroll across whatever you want to do but yeah, you know, this is just the concept you would use for that and yeah if you like this video make sure to give it a like uh as always subscribe and yeah i will see you guys in the next one peace